Okay, I don't, uh, I think the camera was acting up that whole first time. It was clicking and carrying on. I don't know what was going on there exactly, but, uh, just started it again there. But, uh, basically it's not leaking down there. I don't want to put the camera down there and get it acting up the whole way again, so. That's weird. Why is it doing that? It's like the hard drive's acting up or something. Cause see it stopped now. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video. It's almost like the autofocus trying to focus or something, but that's weird. It never made noise before. That's what it is too, it's the autofocus. Well that figures. I guess it's time for a new camera again. Oh well. But, let me get this thing put back together and see what happens. Alrighty guys, so here's a project I've been wanting to do for a while, which is going to be for us guys who want to cut new hubs and keyways at home. So, what I'm going to be using here is, I, I bought a brand new hacksaw. I had to because I went to mom and dad's toolbox and I'm missing one end for ours. And our actual good hacksaw is MIA. I don't know where the heck it went to, but regardless, the backstory. Um, so basically, I got seven hacksaw blades here. Uh, these are medium cut, 12 inch, 24 tooth. Uh, these are just Wally World hacksaw blades. And probably the hacksaw was too, I don't remember. But uh, more or less, what I'm going to do and what I'm going to need to do here is where these nubs are here I'm gonna have to drill down through them and make holes for the bolts to go through and then bolt all the hacksaw blades to this side and then we should in theory be able to huck that up in a vise and then take the hacksaw and cut a new keyway in it <clears throat> excuse me and drill a and drill a new set screw hole and that'll I have, uh, well, let's see if the autofocus is going to make noise in this, but, uh, see, see the whole stack of hubs right there? I got a whole bunch of ones I can do this to, so, let's, uh, let's try this and see what's going to happen. And, yep, the autofocus was making noise. Son of a beach monkey, why does it make noise now? Okay, let me see if I can get this done, and I'll video as much as I can, and with the camera making noise. Alrighty guys, so I got the holes drilled in that, so uh... Well, I might have to drill them one size bigger. Well, I might have to drill them one size bigger, but... I do have the holes drilled through them. Yeah, I'm going to favor and drill them a little bit bigger, but that's no problem. So, But basically I took a file and uh, filed them or filed the nubs off and then drilled down through them right about where they were so it should should line up decently enough here slowly coming together alrighty guys so I got the holes drilled in that so uh... well I might have to drill them one size bigger well I might have to drill them one size bigger but I do have the holes drilled through them. Yeah, I'm going to favor and drill them a little bit bigger, but that's no problem. So, but basically I took a file and uh, filed them, or filed the nubs off and then drilled down through them right about where they were. So it should, should line up decently enough here. Slowly coming together. Alrighty guys, I uh, got the seven bladed hacksaw set up made up, so uh, see if this works. I really ought to go in and watch this footage uh, and see if this clicking is coming through or not, I'm sure it is. Alrighty guys, so I don't know how much of that original footage I'm going to reuse, because I just went inside and uh, screwed with the camera for probably 10 or 15 minutes till I got the autofocus to work. It literally was sitting inside and it would not focus like it is right now. So I banged it off my desk about oh, 20 times and it quit clicking. Everything seems like it's working. If I get through this video, it'll be fine. I'll be uh, 
camera shopping and looking but uh so right now i got the blades in here obviously to put them through the hub i'm gonna have to uh you know unhook one side put them through and then rehook it up you know i knew that was going to be part of the gig whenever i started doing this but uh I'm gonna set this up in the bench vise, or set. Uh, I'm gonna play with this hub here just because I have it. Um, haven't quite decided if I want to drill, drill and tap another hole first, and then I can put the keyway in right over top of it, or if I want to hacksaw it first and try and get the keyway or try and get the hole lined up. I don't know. So I gotta kind of make up my mind there, and I'll. We'll go from there, guys. See what happens when I shut the camera off this time. Mm hmm. Gotta let you guys charge again, too. So, if you don't see a whole lot, eh, you know what happens. I'll have to go get my old camera. I should have got it charging, too. Because it was just uh, the lens would jam up sometimes when you, you opened it. You kind of had to be paying attention. So, hey, one thing, it's something else. Okay, I think I'm pretty much, I'm going to have to let the camera record. I just spent 10 minutes trying to get the lens back out to have to bang it on the table once. But what I ended up doing was I drilled the hole in here first. And then I'll be able to uh, line it up with that. And I, what I did was I just chucked it up in my uh, drill press and drilled down through here to, to mark the hole down through it. And you guys can see straight down through it. So... to do this in a way that I have light and you guys can see but you guys may end up just having to take my word for it that this is working trying to remember which one of these ends came out real easy I think it was the front one because one of them is real easy, I can turn by hand, the other one I had to use a screwdriver. Must have been the front one that wasn't too off of that. Kind of a pain, you gotta do this every time, but it's whatever. It's not it's not a quick anymore because you got so many blades. Make sure and snug these up and run them down tight. And hopefully this will cut a fairly even keyway. Um, I don't know how good or bad this is going to be. Okay, I need some more light. So I need to be able to see what's going on. What did I lay? Oh, here it is. Hardest part is going to be getting this started. I 
I think it's gonna work, guys. It's probably gonna be about uh, ten minutes worth of hacks on, but. And I'll probably be tired before we get this keyway in the whole way. I think it's going to work. Because the other thing is, once I'm done, even if I get a couple little ridges in the bottom, I can take a uh, flat file and just, you know, knock them down a little bit. Let's move my light back here, I can't. I think you know. Long stroke going hit my work Now the right way to do this would be if you had a keyway brooch, I'd already be done. But I don't have one. I would love to have one, but I don't. The bolts are still tight. progress in the front. In the back, I'm hardly cutting anything. Now that I got it started, we'll put some weight into this. It's actually a nice square keyway. So, okay. Let's take us out of here and I'll, I'll show you guys what I got. The other thing I could, I don't know, I guess I can't quite do that. It's not the old school style ones where they come apart. I was like, I could just thread this off of here, but I don't think I, well maybe I can do that. Let me see here. Because if I can do that, that'll be better off than Kissing with the little screws every time. Yeah, no. Okay. Tried it. Won't work. Hacksaw blade removal. Failure. And now I just dropped the washer. Do I really need to wash it though? I don't know that they do. Yeah, that's probably is a good idea, but. Bear with me, guys. So, yeah, I've been cutting a good bit because the hacksaw blades are lukewarm. Where is? I had a screwdriver over here. Did you guys take my screwdriver? There it is. to uh, balance these and keep the screw straight. Put the bit 
gets back before I lose them. So guys, uh, you guys can tell which one I cut, definitely. Cause it's not quite it's not quite square with the other one, but it should be should be all right. But uh, it's a fairly decent keyway, so I'm thinking I, I need to cut it deeper yet. But like I said, I'm just fooling around with this, seeing what I can do. It definitely needs to cut down on this side over here. And I might be able to clean a lot of this up with a file. I debated about just trying to file it straight, but. I think that would be a lot more trouble than it's worth to do that. So, you guys get the idea of what I'm up to, and it's been 15 minutes or 16 minutes of me screwing around. So, as long as I get the camera to turn back on after this, I'll uh, show you guys what I get done. Alrighty, guys, so here's what we got with it all finished up. And you guys can kind of see down in there, but. Looks pretty darn good considering I cut that with seven hacksaw blades. Now, I did have it on uh, the axle of the tractor and make sure that the keyway will go in there and it seemed pretty good. I brought it back over here and uh, tap tap the hole for the, uh, the set screw. And I'm ready to put it on the axle and give it Give it the old college try and see what happens here. So I'm gonna st uh, stop recording for a second, spin you guys around, and we'll go over to the tractor. It turned on right and everything that time. All right, guys, it's been uh, uh, it's been a while. I <laughs> I've been filing on this and I uh, got it to the point where it was kind of tight. It would kind of go on. I uh, took my propane torch, put under it, and heated it up and then uh, hammering it down on here and as you can see I I really should have really should have filed it down some more because now I got the edge of this mushroomed over a little bit but <laughs> I don't think you'll ever have to worry about this hub moving again the trick is this as long as I can get oh, careful it's still hot as long as I can get the outside so the wheel go on there, it will be golden, which it's not as bad as I think it is, but it's not. If this was somebody else's machine, I wouldn't do this, but since it's mine, I'm not too overly concerned. But, it's definitely, all the play you're hearing is in that differential. I see a little bit in the bolt. But, all right, I'm going to tighten this set screw down. And I'm going to tighten the set screw on the other side. And then at that point I'm going to play with the height on the 60 inch deck. I brought the manual out, which I'll read. And I'll see where the, uh, the lift assist springs need to be. Then uh, we'll go from there. You know, I might have screwed up on something. This should have been a little further back. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to tighten this jam nut. Well, yeah, I am. It's just bottomed up there. Okay. I thought I screwed up there for a minute. Because it would not be the first time today. I'm glad I finally got this hub on, though. It was starting to make me mad. It's one of them deals, and I'm sure you guys know, it shouldn't take you this long to do this. But the fact that it's taken me... Well, I broke for lunch in between... Uh, the first and second part, my grandpa stopped in and talked to him for probably a half hour, and I think a lot of you guys know when you're, when you're not at work and talking to people, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, and now it's raining, so I guess I won't be going outside. So, Sorry for the shaky cam. I don't know if I turn image stabilization back. 
I was playing with the settings this morning when the camera was screwing up, and I found a like a sports image stabilization. I don't know if I left it turned on or not. I know I turned off the optical zoom because I thought maybe that was something to do with the focus. Um, you know, like the digital part of the zoom. Because I don't really need digital zoom. And I think one of my cats are on my roof. Now, the only problem with this is, see, there's no flat spot in the hub. But if you had an end mill or something, you could even take a file and go across there and make a flat spot if you really, really, really had to have that flat spot. But my main thing is, I think if I go and put the put the brake on on the tractor, I can tighten this up. So I'll do that off camera and see if I turn that image stabilization up. Don't remember. Thought I did, but who knows. Okay, I did not turn that up. I had it on standard. Any better? Hmm, 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 hmm. I think it is. I don't know. Find out. Or if I just made you get half of you guys barf on your computers. Or cell phone screens or wherever the heck you are. 